Hey guys, Slimber here, and I'm here with Corona and Lyme disease, and today we're going to be talking about PragerU, because again, for the one millionth fucking time, because, well, the people who started their organization because they believed colleges were brainwashing their students for a liberal agenda, uh, well, they're literally, they, they're literally making content aimed at children to basically brainwash children. So, uh, let's get right into this, shall we? Ah, uh, yes, starting off strong with the reference that children give 100% a single fuck about. Yes, totally. I mean, look, I was one of these kids that grew up on the internet, you know. I was born in 2000, so basically, for the majority of my life, at least all of my fucking teenage years, the internet's been pretty fucking prominent. Um, but I'm gonna tell you what, until I was about 17, I didn't really care about what big tech was doing, nor was I really interested or focused on it. Um, and I don't really, I don't think I can say the same for anybody else around my age at that time. Ugh, oh, this is so unfair. How am I, I'm gonna be the only- Who drew this? Who? Who drew this? This, like, legitimately fucking frightens me. Like, okay, I don't, like, have sleep paralysis demons, but if I did have one, this this would probably be it. I need a fucking drink to forget about this. Only, ugh, I can't believe they- What? I can't believe mom and dad. All my friends- are <laughs> What is that, like, <laughs> that head motion? Who, who the fuck does that? Just- I can't believe mom and dad. I can't believe them. I really can't. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Who does that? They're going on a beach trip next month. That Stop. You're fucking scaring me. Like, like, I'm actually terrified of this fucking character. Look at the... Look, look. Okay, PragerU gets... What, millions or billions of fucking dollars from oil companies and shit, but they can't just hire a better animator and better voice actors and, you know, better everything for this? Like, fucking Christ. That's a hundred dollars, and mom and dad are making me pay my own way, even though I told them I only have ten bucks left in my purse. Once again with the animation. <laughs> Be like, man, this animation is just so bad, you know? And every time I talk, I just have to move around every second. I mean, this is why, you know? <laughs> like, who, who the fuck? Nobody does that. Nice. Maybe this will teach you some financial responsibility. Yeah, bitch. Get fucked. Whatever, Leo. That's what mom and dad said. You think you're so smart. Remember, I'm your older sister. Don't you lecture me on financial responsibility. Well, I was just reading about the father of economics, and I think he can help you. Who is economics? Economics isn't a who, it's a what. And it has to do with things related to making and saving money. This guy invented the economic system that we use in America. It's called capitalism. Ah, yes, capitalism has always been the perfect example of financial responsibilities. Like, you guys remember that one time in 2008 when Wall Street uh, bankers and shit were betting money they didn't have and crashed our economy? Oh, wait. I need to make money fast. Let's go learn about capitalism from its dad? Listen here, Miss Layla. I, I think that's what it said your name was at the beginning. Uh, I think if you want to make money fast, I mean, assuming you're, you're 18. Assuming you're 18. Start an OnlyFans. Capitalism's beautiful. Exploit your fucking body for money, bitch. Well, we'll have to go back in time to Scotland. That is where Adam Smith was from. I've always wanted to see Scotland. Maybe we'll see the Loch Ness Monster. Dude, like, the voice acting on this is so horrible. The, the kid isn't so bad, but the female, or the teenage female, or the adult female, I don't know which one. I assume a teenage female now, now that I think about it, but, um, like, her voice acting's fucking horrible. Like, it's very clear she's just reading off a fucking script. Like, it doesn't make you feel like she's actually trying to, you know, portray a character. It just sounds like, yeah, I love Scotland.
Hello there, laddie and lassie. I'm Leo, and this is my sister, Layla. Yes, yes. And you're from the future, and you're studying for an economics test. Crivens, you future kids in all your tests. No, not exactly. We are from the future, but my sister here needs to make $100 pretty quick, and we thought you could help. Ugh, why didn't you say so? Let me tell you about capitalism. Before I came around, people believed that there was a set amount of wealth for the entire world. Oh my god, I totally know what wealth means. It means money, the things you have, you know, like how many things you can buy. I was totally going to say that, Leo. Before capitalism, people believed that more wealth for one meant less for others. Uh, no, that's still the case in capitalism. Like, literally anything with a monetary value, that's how it works. Unless they just fucking decide to randomly print more money and overinflate it, there's generally a limited supply. Of, it's not like, you know, a small limit, but there's a limit. Damn it, I'm literally like, I'm like not even near done with this video. I'm like halfway through this video, and I'm almost done with this. I might as well take the fucking last thing, you know, last fucking gulp of it before I fucking go get another one. This type of economic system limited trade, led to violence, and made some people really rich, and most people really, really poor. Okay, I'm back with another one. What you are describing, cartoon Adam Smith, is literally capitalism, uh, except the free trade part. That's the only part that's like, you know, not a capitalist thing. There's been a shit ton of war over goods and shit. Look at the fucking Iraq war over fucking opium and oil and Afghanistan too. And then look at fucking the banana wars and shit like that. Those are just two examples. There's fucking more out there. In capitalism, if everyone focuses on making the best products and services, the wealth of the world is limitless. Yeah, tell that to fucking Somalia. Even if they're just focusing on themselves, everyone will benefit. Yeah, tell that to all of Jeff Bezos' employees. In fact, tell that to all of the fucking working class. Their own self-interest will lead to more happiness and more peace. So, greed is good. No, Leo. Self-interest is different from being selfish or greedy. It means doing what is best for yourself will lead to rewards for everyone. If you're a generous and helpful person, you'll be rewarded with friends. If you run a business that is honest and fair, your reward will be loyal customers. Which would in theory work, but when you look at monopolies or when you look at the fact that most businesses just don't really run honestly and fairly, and, oh, and also companies who don't run honestly and fairly usually end up having a fucking advantage over those who run honestly and fairly, um, it just kind of crashes the whole theory down. And your customers will benefit from loving what you have to offer. How do you know- Oh! What the fuck? Why does she have T-Rex arms now? What is fair to charge? Who decides who gets to make more money or less money? Excellent question, Layla. No person decides, and certainly no government does. Fairness is determined by what I call the invisible hand of the market. Yikes, invisible hand? <laughs> I know it sounds spooky. But it just means that the economy runs best when costs and wages are determined naturally by the market. Which, once again, in theory works, but when it actually happens, what you see is a bunch of business owners all realize that, hey, everybody else is underpaying their workers, we can too, because where else are they going to go? Especially when you put obstacles in their way, such as access to education, access to transportation, or even just basic, you know, access with experience. That's when people can negotiate freely about what to charge and what to pay. So no one should force you to pay more than what you want? That's right, Leo. Yeah, how dare you want to survive, employee? How dare you want to be able to live off your fucking job? You live off the people you basically slaved your life for. In fact, you know what? You should literally slave for them and work for them for free, you fucking asshole. Now, what type of business are you going to make? People might pay to hear me sing. <clears throat> la 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 la. Or we can pay you not to sing. <laughs> Any other ideas, Layla? We do have two giant lemon trees in our backyard that are blooming right now. 
I have $10 for other supplies. We could have a lemonade stand. That's a great business idea, Layla. Yeah, but Layla, there's already a lemonade stand in our neighborhood. Kenny and Karen have theirs three blocks away. Won't they get mad? Under capitalism, competition is goods. The invisible hand naturally guides competing businesses to improve the quality of their goods and services. If Kenny and Karen act in the best interest, they won't get mad. They'll try and make better lemonade than you. Or, 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 they could go the opposite by making shittier lemonade so they can make their prices cheaper. And then you will compete with that by making even shittier lemonade by making your prices cheaper than the prices they made cheaper. And then it'll keep going and the customer won't get fucking shit out of it because all your fucking shit will be garbage. Let's go make lemonade, Layla. I'll get lemons from our trees and you use your $10 to buy the other supplies we need. Bye, Bye Mr. Smith. Smith. Goodbye, kids. Good luck. Should have told him to make a Corona with a lime in it. I want more. Two more lemonades. People are loving our lemonade. This is the best lemonade in town. I thought I hated work, but this is great. I'm gonna have more money than I've ever had. You're gonna have money. This is Layla's lemonade. You're my baby brother, and you're helping me get the money for my beach trip. Oh shit, the hostile takeover's happening. I'm no baby. In fact, I'm your employee. In fact, I am your older brother. I just suffer from dwarfism. And if I'm not making any money, then I'm out of here. I could be researching stocks and watching the global markets. I get this is like a cartoon and stuff, but uh, I don't think he's old enough to buy stocks. And also, if he's got no money, how is he going to buy stocks? Bye. Wait, Leo, don't go. Oh, no. What have I done? God damn it! Nobody wants to work anymore! What am I gonna do? Bitch about it on Facebook and blame unemployment. I'm going back to... What was his name again? Oh, Adam Smith. Hello, Layla. How's the lemonade stand going? Where's your brother? Mr. Smith, the stand was going good. I don't really like talking to all the customers, but I was making good money. The big problem is that Leo walked off the job, and now I'm all alone. That doesn't sound like Leo. Why did he leave? He got upset that I wasn't paying him. I'm gonna start using this clip whenever somebody, like, bitches about unemployment. Why weren't people who were laid off by billion-dollar corporations who already weren't paying them enough, why aren't they working anymore? He got upset that I wasn't paying him. I thought he was just helping me get to my goal, but he wanted some of the money. Ah, sounds like Leo acted in his self-interest. Yeah, I guess so. I need $100 fast, but I need Leo's help too. What should I do? Bosses have to pay their employees and give them benefits. Yeah, tell that to literally every McDonald's, Walmart, Amazon, Burger King, Tim Hortons, fucking... I don't know, Denny's. I mean, some of these places probably play 15 an hour, but that's still not really shit compared to how much they've earned off these fucking people. Like, tell that to all of them. Like, in theory, yeah, but they don't actually do it, so, I mean. Pay too much, and your business will fail because of lack of profit. Pay too little, and you'll also fail because your employees will leave. We should just, like, cut this literal like part of this video and just keep it for any fucking company that bitches about unemployment. It's the invisible hand that will lead you to the right decision. I think I know just what it will take to get Leo back and make sure he's a happy employee. Capitalism's a really good system, Mr. Smith. Thanks, Layla. If you practice my teachings and have good lemonade, you, Leo, and your customers will get what you want. When done right, Everybody wins with capitalism. Apparently not me, because, I mean, I think capitalism made this video, and, well, that's the worst voice acting I've heard in a long time. Okay, bye again. Goodbye, Layla. Enjoy your work, and enjoy the reward of your beach trip. This is so much fun, and we're making so much money. Thanks for coming back to work, Leo. You made me an offer I couldn't refuse. 30% of the profit, the business named after both of us, and stock options when we go public. And this 
if ever rarely fucking happens. I mean, the stock option, I've seen sometimes you get like a tiny, tiny bit of a company stock. Like, I think Publix does it. I'm not sure if any other company does that. That's the only one I've ever seen do that. But like 30%, um, rarely do you ever see an employee get 30% of the profits. Like very, very rarely. It's probably way less than that. I mean, one single employee probably gets like a maybe like two or three percent, if that, depending on the company. But you know, like overall, even all the employees combined don't even really get thirty percent. I mean, where I work at, we probably get twenty, maybe ten percent overall. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of you know bullshit. I'm going to have enough money to go on as many beach trips as I want. What are you going to do with all your money? Bitcoin. Here's the thing about this being propaganda, right? It's kind of harmless propaganda because shit like that. Children are going to see that and they're going to be like, what? Like, it looks like the age they're marketing to. I'd have to look. I know I saw it somewhere, but it's a pretty young demographic and it's like they're not really going to see that and care about Bitcoin. I mean, the people investigate investing in Bitcoin are like probably my age or older. Honestly, even my age is kind of rare. Maybe like 25 and up. Like, it's, come on, dude. Like, at least know who your demographic is. If you're interested in time traveling with Leo and Layla again, please subscribe and watch more of their adventures. And be sure to download the free Prager U app today. Well, guys, I didn't actually realize the video was this long um, because I was going to show more. But, I mean, I feel like this is just a clear example that this is obvious trying to brainwash kids. Not very good at it, but it's propaganda nonetheless. Uh, so if your fucking teacher shows you this in school, because I've apparently seen on Reddit, uh, kids have been shown Prager U in school by their teachers. Yeah. <laughs> um... Please sure to let the most responsible adult you know let them make them aware. <laughs> Maybe make your principal aware. Because, you know, ethically there's kind of some issues with that. <laughs> um, if they're showing you this in your school, but I doubt any children are watching this. But uh yeah, leave a dislike because you know, fuck me. Uh leave a comment and uh yeah, slimber out.